Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to what has been a very soggy, windy, and uh, downpouring Tuesday, the 9th of November. I think I keep saying October in my vlogs. Sometimes you just kind of want things to slow down just a little bit, don't you? But um, it's 46 degrees out here now. And uh, I don't know, blue skies, that looks good to me. There's hardly anything left. But it gets that way every year. Look, it just becomes more barren. All the beautiful trees, everything's just gone. Actually, this cherry tree is like one of the few holdouts out here. Oh well. <laughs> All right, let's get going on a on a Tuesday. See how it goes down. Good Lord, woman. I think the cherry tree in the backyard's the only thing's got leaves left in, left in it. All that wind and craziness last night. But look at this. It's going to give us a little break going tour. What do you think on that? You're a lot closer to me in the CRV than you are in the yeah. Acura. <laughs> well, Mama, at one point, I, I, well, I guess we were looking at that back there. Mm -hmm. Thought for sure we were going to get wet before we made it to work. Yeah, but we locked out. It was dry. The whole, well, the roads weren't dry at first. You know, the non rain to wash anything off, white out going yeah. down. <laughs> That's all right. At least it didn't rain. This is true. No complaints. Other than a couple of slow people being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know. People stop. It's like, awesome. really? You got a camper and you're going 60 miles an hour in the fast lane. And, and everybody's people. freaking out. Yeah. But anyway, a little complaint of the drive of the day. No. We're over it. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mama, welcome to Tuesday. Yes, I hope I. All right. I'll All right. see you in the past. All right, sounds good. All right, love you. See you, bye. I love you. <laughs> bye, bye now. Mm -hmm. Bye. Look at this. This is that beautiful liquid titanium 2021 <laughs> Spider F3T T for touring. It's dry out here. It's nice at the moment. Let's take this thing for a rip. Just a quickie. I'm sure I uh, rode it when I aligned it, but now you know how long ago that's been. <laughs> Went through, made sure the tires in the rear, because this doesn't have ACS, make sure the rear shock is set and all those kind of goodies. Boy, it looks like it could come down at any moment doesn't it ah. I love how you you get down here in the Vancouver area and there's still a lot of colors about oh and the wind the ever so lovely wind heck yeah toss it up a little bit give us some of that anger in the wind let's try we haven't gone through the toyota lot here in a while let's just see what's uh see how they're doing inventory wise i'm gonna scooch around here they're lining up at the service area here this morning let's lift the shield up see if we can hear some of that wind it looks like it's still kind of slam pickings. Boy, they're buying up used cars like crazy. It's nuts. We're doing the same thing. We're buying up. You got to be careful right now, too, because uh, um, there's a lot of those flooded bikes from the hurricane areas that is... Uh, those things are starting to show up. You gotta be really careful. I got a warning or an email that was kind of a warning, you know, be careful with uh, auction bikes. And in fact, they're 
you know doing another email push will you'll be really happy with what we'll give you for your used motorcycle we we need them because they're being very cautious and maybe to the point of not even getting any of the auction bikes it's just too risky and that goes with the goes with cars as well be very very careful after any kind of a hurricane like that comes through especially in this this day and age that you know car used cars are so valuable man they're so valuable that they're fixing totaled out cars and um and uh doing it on the sly so the insurance companies and stuff don't don't catch wind of it that way it doesn't show up on carfax and uh you know there's some other you know those vin inquiry kind of websites out there but yeah they're not showing up that they're crashed but them things you know are totaled out should be sent to the boneyard and they're not because they're so valuable that uh, they're just cashing out and doing it on on the sly not reporting it it's kind of crazy man well i'm sure the same things or obviously the same things happening with motorcycles too So yeah, if you uh, have a bike you're not riding, and <laughs> it's uh, it's quite valuable at the moment. Man, I love it when it's so nice to jump on a spider that's aligned. It's been some time since I've done it. I, I mean, it's been I don't know, a couple three months since the last batch of new spiders came in. Maybe even longer. Seems like it's been a while since I've PDI'd a, or a. a laser aligned a, a new PDI unit cool stuff yeah, this be good for a little rip sure the brakes <laughs> Picking up flying debris, huh? <laughs> Picking up flying debris, huh? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Seen her from the stoplight there. Trash can going across the road. <laughs> it was awfully nice of her to pick it up. You know, she set it backwards so that the open end is not facing the wind. She must have some uh, some common sense there. Look at that. There's where all the wind and everything's coming from. That's Mother Nature coming in angry. I love it when it's windy enough you actually feel it. Like I felt it twice. Give the spider a little push. I like that. If you like that, you gotta take that old war wagon for a ride. <laughs> she dances all over the place. Uh, I think I'll probably just take this thing up front sales guy is going to have to uh, top her off with some petrol because it shows that there's a 30 mile range this thing runs nice she runs real nice how about we sneak down we'll do the partial alley run how about that I would go around the building but there's a water that runs across there all the time i don't want to splash splash go through water somebody's brand new oh pickle look at them trees they're still just glowing <laughs> all right that's how you get a good test ride in with like putting practically no miles I get people, well, why are you taking on these parking lot rides? What kind of review is that? Number one, this is not a review site. People get confused with that. And uh, number two, it's not a review. It's a 
just a, a mandatory test ride after you uh, perform some kind of repair or put them together. Well, it's mandatory you put them together. Our store, it's mandatory that we ride them. We don't want to take a chance of turning over an unsafe vehicle. It's crazy. You hear these things, uh, people working on bikes, and they just hand them over. They don't know if it's safe or not. I don't know how they want to take this thing in, so I'm just going to land it up here and let them decide. I locked all this accessories and stuff in the... So I locked the bags and everything. Yeah, she's a looker. Is the key, one of the key things up there. That's one thing I don't like about the hard mount GPS is it gets in the way of the key. It does it on the new RTs too. But I mean, the thing's flexible. But I would, I would find that to be a pain. Oh, both keys are up there. You know, you lose one of these and you've lost them all. Here we are. I need to find out who I would turn these into. Alright. That's that for that. Thank you guys for coming along for the rip. This beauty. Alright. So I finished putting this, this together. Man, that's literally got to be the best looking GS ever made. I think will ever, forever stick in my head as just that. Even looks good. The bags are sitting over there. I take them off when I work on them, especially those big bags. You can bang into them when you walk around on the bench. It's just easier to have them off. But uh, anyway, I talked to you guys about the short runs. And uh, by far the majority of his, of his rides on this thing, I mean, obviously there's longer ones, but most of them are less than two miles. And uh, the intake track of this thing is just gummed up with old fuel. It's literally plugging the system up. And, um, you know, he's well out of warranty. It's a 2018. And um, anyway, we're trying to get BMW to assist in, in some way. But they pretty much said, no. Nah. So um, they say to run the treatment thing through it. It's not bad enough that it needs to have that crazy carbon decarbonizer thing. It's not that bad. The thing still runs great. It's just the short runs are building up, and then he it throws a throttle body code because it's it's actually building up so bad it's spitting back at the uh, throttle plate and causing it to gum up. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Probably one of the most extreme well I can't say that way worse than, than this but it's kind of weird that you know something so clean and so well taken care of that would have an issue but what's going on internally does not you know it, just because it looks beautiful on the outside and taken well care of short runs is doing damage internally so uh, I'll give him this bottle holy moly Adam just took off on a test ride on the K1600 too. Dude, he's gonna be soaked. But um, anyway, don't short run your motorcycle ever. Usually we see this kind of stuff for the guys that go out there, you know, once every, once a week sometimes, once every couple of weeks or whatever, fired up because my dad told me 50 years ago to get the juices flowing. No, <laughs> if it's gonna sit for a while, prep it to sit for a while. Do not go out there and run them. If you're going to run them, 9.3 miles, 15 kilometers. So, anyway, that's that for that. And uh, he's done. I, in fact, I was looking at the weather to take a quick test ride, and it says rain in one minute. And I thought, I'll wait. And then, boom, I see Adam take off across the parking lot. Man, let's go. let's go look at this. That big black cloud from earlier is probably going over. Just that quick, man. That black cloud floated over and says, Nope, I'm going to get you wet. And now, <laughs> it's sunshine. I wonder where I, he, he might have come back and slipped through and I didn't see him. But uh, I don't think he was wearing any kind of rain gear or anything like that. 
floor guy is gonna be soaked. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna be absolutely drenched. Oh, and he's gotta be literally floating. <laughs> Crazy Pacific Northwest. Look at that out here now. That beautiful wood. That's what just passed over. I'm gonna go up here and see how wet Adam is. So we leave. Somewhat nice sunshine. We come back in the rainy wet. Such is life in the winter time. I wonder if it even sees you now. I'm just seeing a little flicker of your eyeball glasses. A little, a little bumpy going down through here. dog eyeball reflectors well hello there YouTube another dark night from inside the old war wagon yes but it is dry and it is warm yeah it is dry and warm in here that's yeah. for sure gotta be Take thankful that. of that much better than a windy cold porch yeah man yeah. it was raining when poured a little bit then it was just everything was wet and then we get to like woodland and just it was dry all the way to to Kelso just past and Kelso tark, 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 big drops started hitting the windshield again. and it was full white out the rest of the way home <laughs> although we're sitting here I'm looking out across there yeah, it's there's not a drop right falling so it wasn't raining going down the dirt road either so yeah. there's hope but it's dark now don't care what it does outside really yeah <laughs> at this point nope but that was a that was an interesting day today with the weather it was definitely sunshine pouring down rain sunshine oh, pouring down rain oh it's very cool yeah that's well, kind of nice it's nice when you're inside and you don't have to go out for anything didn't have anything well I wanted to test ride that GS but just ran out of nice well, I'm not riding nothing in the rain nope that keeps that thing really clean. That's nice. But anyway, I think on that. <coughs> I was trying to, I could feel that tickle back there. Like, I'm going to get to the end. I'm not going to let that thing get me. I know. It's like trying to hold back a sneeze or a cough. It's like, oh. Yeah. Thank God. She snuck out anyway. Oh. Anyway, it's we're going right. to bounce on you. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Good Lord, the world's hump day already. Yeah. That's I'll crazy. Take her. Yeah. All right. All right. I reckon we'll see you in the morning. I'll see you then. Appreciate you watching. Yes. Bye bye now.